Hey there, Justin from Blaze. Connecting platforms that you want Autopilot to post to is a critical step to unlocking Autopilot's superpower. Ideally, you want to connect any and all platforms that you want Autopilot to post to. Today, we'll walk through the process of setting up the Facebook integration with your Autopilot workspace. If you're watching this video, you may have set up a few platforms to experiment with with Autopilot, and then maybe you've decided to expand to include additional platforms. Regardless of why you're here, it's important to consider that any integrations that you connect with Autopilot automatically enables auto-scheduling for all posts that are created for that platform. Keep that in mind as you connect to various platforms with your Autopilot workspace. To connect additional platforms for your Autopilot workspace, go to your brand kit, locate the integrations category, and then click new integration. Locate the Facebook card, and then click connect to start the connection process. Take note that the information shown here is required in order for the Facebook integration to work correctly. You need to make sure your Facebook page is a business page, you're an admin of the Facebook business page, your Facebook page is part of the business portfolio on your Meta Business Suite, and then your personal Facebook account must also have admin rights to that business portfolio too. Don't worry, that was a lot, but we're gonna go ahead and open a new tab, jump over to the Meta Business Suite to make sure everything is set up correctly. That's business.facebook.com. Start by verifying that you have a business portfolio and your Facebook page is added to it. If this is true on your screen, then you can skip this step. If you don't have a portfolio, click the asset selector in the top left, then create a business portfolio. Give your portfolio a name, then enter in the contact info to create your portfolio. Make sure you're in your business portfolio, then click the pages tool under the accounts category in the sidebar. Click add, then add an existing Facebook page. Search for your Facebook page, select it, then click next. You need to approve this connection, and because Meta has detected that I'm the owner of the Urban Roasters page and my business portfolio, I can click Next, agree to the terms and conditions, and approve the connection in one fell swoop. If you're not the page owner, somebody else may need to approve the connection. Either way, once it's been approved and connected, click Done. Now you've verified that you have a business portfolio and your business page is connected to it. And as long as you're an admin of your Facebook business page, when we jump back to Blaze and make the connection, you shouldn't have any issues. Okay, back here in Blaze, let's go back to the brand kit. Locate the integrations category, click new integration, then the Facebook card, and then click connect to start the connection process. Click go to Facebook business, verify your personal account. This is already set up for me. So I'm gonna go ahead and click continue as myself. If you manage multiple pages on Facebook, you can add them individually or select opt in to current and all future pages. I'm going to go ahead and select this option. Make that same decision with your business portfolios. I'm going to go ahead and select current and all future, then click save. Click got it. Select the account on Blaze's side, then click connect. Now the Facebook card has moved up into the connected category with a green check mark next to the account, letting us know that everything is all set up. Now when you go to a project and select a post that Autopilot made on your behalf, you'll see the status of that post is now set to auto scheduled, meaning my post will go live in just a few days to my Facebook account. Okay, so it took a bit, but we made it. Now any content that Autopilot creates for your Facebook page is going to go live as soon as it's scheduled to. If this video helped you at all, be sure to give it a like so others can find it just as easily as you did. Also, make sure that you're subscribed to our YouTube channel so you can stay up to date on all the ways that Blaze can help you grow as a small business owner.